2 to the 2 to the 223 when divided by 100, the remainder is what? Or it means that, uh, let me tell you, the last two digits is what? Because when they say, for example, the remainder when divided by 100 is what? It means that the last two digits is what? So let's, because it's 2 to the power of something, like if we consider, for example, 2 to the 10, we know it is 1024. Last two digits is 24. If you consider 2 to the 20, it is 2 to the 10 times 2 to the 10. And last two digits is 24 times 24. It's 576, so it is 76. Now the next one, 2 to the 40. It is 2 to the 20 times 2 to the 20. So it will be 76 times 76. So let's multiply. We want to find last two digits. 36, we have 3. 6 times 7, 42 plus 3, 45. 7 times 6, 42. It will be what? It will be 76. Okay. So we conclude that 2 to the 20 always 76, and 76 times 76 is 76. So here it is 2 to the 2 to the 20, 23. We know if we write it as 2 to the 20, it is. 2 to the 20 plus 20 plus 20, this number. Write some 20s plus a remainder, which is R. It will be 2 to the 20 times 2 to the 20 times 2 to the 20. All of them, 2 to the 20 times 2 to the R. All 2 to the 20s are 76. 76 times 76 times 76 times 76. Times 76 the last two digits, times 2 digits. And we know all 76, we can say all of them, their product, last two digits also, 76, 2 to the R. So we should find R. Means what? We should see 2 to the 20, 23, the remainder, when divided by 20 is what? Okay? Okay. So we know what? We know that. 2 to the 20, last two digits, when you know one more, when you want to find remainder, when divided by 20, last two digits is important. Because, for example, look, it is 576, it is 500 plus 76. 500 is, 100 is multiple of 20. The last two digits is important. Okay, so, here, 2 to the 20, we want to find mod 20, the remainder. 2 to the 20 is 76, the last two digits, when divided by 20, you can say 6. Okay, so, here, we want to find 2 to the 20, 23. And we know 2 to the 40 is also 16. So here, when we want to divide it by 20, you say 2 to the 20. Again, like 2 to the 20 times 2 to the 20, 20, 20, 20, 2 to the 20. Plus 2 to the remainder times 2 to the remainder. Bar 1, 20, 23, when divided by 20. So now we can calculate this 20, 23. When divided by 20, it's the last two digits again is important. Okay, so R1 is 23. When divided by 20 is 3. Okay, so this part is 16, all of them 16. So it will be 16 times 2 to the 3, which is 2. It will be 16 times 8. So we want to calculate when divided by 20, it's 128. The remainder when divided by 20 is 8. Okay. So we concluded. We've concluded 2 to the 20, 23 when divided by 20, the remainder is 8. So this part R is 8. So it will be 76 times 2 to the 8. We should calculate the last two digits of this. So 76, 2 to the 8 is 256, 56. Now let's multiply these two numbers. 76 multiplied by 56. 6 times 6, 36, we have 3. 6 times 7, 42, plus 3, 45. 5 times 6, 30, so 56. So the answer, last two digits, is 56. We solved this problem completely. If you had questions, send a message to my WhatsApp number. It has also another rule using Euler distortion function using modula. Divide 100 to 4 and 25, find the remainder, then by Chinese remainder theorem, find the last two digits. There are lots of ways that can solve harder problems. 
I try to solve this problem with basic ideas. If you have questions, send message to my WhatsApp number. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. Thanks. Bye.